Weezy out of here. Hey, this ain't no regular shit. We never begging for shit. Niggas is ready to quit. Shit that they hate to admit. In Texas, I keep a rifle inside. Hey, what's good, y'all? So, uh, first of all, I was wanting to say this video is sponsored. Well, not sponsored. This video is inspired by Spiritual Soul. Uh, I think for y'all that already watch him and I subscribe to him, y'all know that he went bald a couple weeks ago, cut his hair bald, and he was talking about it in his video and stuff about why he did it and, you know, so the, the certain things that he, you know, kind of let go of after cutting his hair and how he felt and how he felt free, right? And I'm watching the video, bro. At first, I, I was laughing, not because I was, like, trying to make fun of this nigga, but, like, I'm thinking about something, like, he really cut his hair. Like, he really did it. Cause he's known, cause he's known for his dreads, bro. Like that's what he's known for. Like you know him, like for do rag. I mean for the do rag and for the dreads. So to see him cut it was just kind of wild. But I was like, bro, when he would, like got into how, you know, he felt so insecure about, you know, his his you know certain things about himself and how he had like so many like millions of, of subscribers and people supporting him, but he still felt kind of lost. And I was like, damn, bro, like. That shit I be thinking about all the time. Like, I really be thinking, like, sometimes, like, you know, all these insecurities you have, bro, like, niggas have, like, whether it's, like, it's your teeth, it's your body, um, um, whatever it could be, man. It's just, like, people really limit themselves of what they can do because of how they feel about themselves. Like, with me, bro, like, <laughs> there was this, I don't know if y'all remember, but, like, there was this, like, there's this app where, like, this app where you can, like, um, send like um, anonymous messages to people and people can like, leave you messages and shit but like without having to actually expose themselves and when it first came out I was in college bro and I was like let me try this out so I, I downloaded it just to see like what I was gonna get the first five minutes I ain't really get nothing then, like 30 minutes later all of a sudden the messages started pouring in this kept coming from my forehead bro. Oh. niggas was coming from my forehead oh, saying, he needs your forehead big as fuck bro you got a big ass forehead bro like like get that shit covered. I'm like, bro, like what the fuck? Like, and, and during that time, bro, I was like, I was a lot more insecure than I am now. I mean, today, I mean, I mean, oh, oh, it's big, and I got big hands. Milk. So this is saying something. So I guess my yeah, it is kind of big. I ain't gonna lie to you, but it's like, bro, like I'm not about to sit here and dwell and cry over some shit that especially is all natural. If this, bro, if I could change it, would I change it? Mm, headline reconstruction. I mean, I might have to consider. I might have to indulge, but I don't. The whole my, <laughs> my whole thing is just like, why am I gonna, why am I gonna dwell on my forehead? You know how big my forehead is. Like it's really gonna impact my life in a negative type of way. In that time, I still remember, bro. Like when I saw those messages, bro. Like like I was so I was down bad mentally, bro. Like, like that shit was bothering me. And because like the messages are anonymous. I'm walking around campus, bro. I'm looking at niggas, but I got I, I'm looking at niggas that I have on Snap, and I'm like, bro, did you say this? In my head, I'm not actually gonna ask you straight up because I know niggas are gonna lie. But I was like, I wonder if he was it her? Was it like, you know? I'm like, <laughs> but I was so down bad. I still remember this shit, bro. I just I, to this day I remember that. I, I was so insecure, bro, because I'm like, like. I get up in the morning, y'all get dressed, bro. I think I look good. I think I got some style, I got some swag to me. Niggas coming from my forehead. <laughs> niggas really come for your forehead. Bro, niggas come from Rihanna's forehead, but she's still bad. And she's still doing her thing. Shout out to Rihanna. Rihanna can have big ass forehead and she's still doing her thing. Why can't I? That's how I looked at it. I said, why can't I? And do my thing with my big forehead and still be smooth. <laughs> still be cool. Why not? Rihanna doing it. A lot of niggas out here doing it. There's some NBA players, but they got some big ass foreheads too. But they rich. They still doing, they doing their thing. They living life. <laughs> they living a the dream, man. But how am I gonna let that stop me? It's so wild, like when I really think about it now. Like, people are so insecure with themselves. Like, and I know from time to time, everybody gonna have a little, you know, you're gonna look in the mirror and think, oh, my stomach getting a little big, my arms look a little chubby, and my face getting a little, you know, everybody got a little something here and there. Like, when you dwell on that shit, especially when you hop on Instagram and then you look at everybody's pictures and you scrolling, you scrolling, you scrolling, and you like, damn, like, 
I'm not like her at all. Like, I want to be like her. I want to be like him. Not even knowing that these people are photoshopping everything. They got, they got filters. They got all this type of stuff on it. But you thinking that that's real life. That's that's the real. That's the real thing. And nah, it's a fake video, man. This it's it's fake. So yeah, man. Like when when I saw when I saw Spiritual Soul doing that, like I really applauded him, man. Like cause I like. I was seeing the comments and niggas was laughing how he was gonna be a meme and he was and he still is but you know people was clowning him for what he was doing but when he was talking about how like all the pain he was leaving behind by you know cutting his hair you know I I really respected that in a video about trauma about childhood trauma you guys can watch that and I'll put it above but uh, I'll put a link to it above but um yeah bro like I think a lot of this stuff starts in childhood man it starts in childhood and you keep carrying it on bro like if somebody, if somebody tell you your forehead big in first grade, and that shit gonna devastate you, man. That shit might make you cry when you're six, seven years old. Grow up, go through elementary, middle school, high school, college, you gonna always have that in the back of my mind that like, yeah, this dude or, or 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 this girl said I had a big forehead. Or whatever your insecurity is, man. And it ends up, you know, almost being like detrimental to your life. Cause that's all you're thinking about. But how long are we gonna let somebody's comments that don't really even matter affect us? Move on, we gotta keep going. Go enjoy life, man. It's a beautiful life we live, man. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success, man. Like J, like J. Cole said, it's, it's, it's a beautiful life we live in. Enjoy yourself, you got a lot to offer. As much as, you know, <laughs> you know, you got your insecurity, you got you got your big forehead, you got your you got your uh, ugly teeth, maybe your teeth crooked like nobody's business, bro. I don't know what you got. I don't know what your problem is. I don't know what your problem is. But embrace that shit, man. Do you. Like, the fuck I care about niggas laughing at me. Really give a damn. I'm really at that point now. But I didn't I didn't fell in love with myself so much that I'm like, if y'all gonna hate, y'all gonna hate. Y'all going I don't care, man. I don't have time for this. I got goals and dreams to accomplish. I got things I gotta do. And there's no way that I can accomplish these things while worrying about other people's opinions, you know? And and, and and on the other hand of that, please make sure you watch what you say to other people. Because y'all know one comment at a young age or whatever age can really mess up somebody's life, bro, mentally. So y'all gotta really be careful. I think it was like Muggsy Bogues. He was talking about how Michael Jordan called him a midget on the court, bro. That shit traumatized him. It, and for the rest of his career, he was, it messed him up. And at first I was laughing, I'm not even gonna lie. I was laughing a little bit, I felt bad for it. But I was like, damn, like words really can hurt people this bad. Grown men too, not just little kids. This is not just like elementary school or, or high school stuff. Like this is a grown man in his 30s, man, talking about how another grown man made a statement to him that changed his life forever. And he lost all confidence after Michael Jordan said that. So, on the other side of that, please make sure y'all being careful what you say to other people. Please be smart with your words. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this video right here. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment down below, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Peace.